little disc, the product is in here. And what we do is we take the, put the little glue source, we're going to put it somewhere in the cabinet. Now, the, the, the thing with Gentrol is it actually spreads all over the house. The hormone will spread. It's not a liquid, it's not, so we, we, we take it right here. And that's it. And this is good for about three months, especially for roach control, ant control, um, beetle control. And we can put it in one location. So we're going to put it in one spot. So it's so, a so, uh, one, one second. Uh-huh. Uh, so why this labyrinthic type of structure? Without it basically just has a little, uh, uh, the liquid is in a capsule. Yeah. And then it has this little cotton uh, fiber material where the chemical is just going to spread across so that it can volatize out. So that's all it's going to do. It's just going to come out. It, the insect is not going to be attracted to that. They're not going to go there. They're not going to eat it. It basically is a hormone that is now in the environment. So it's a vol volatilized. It volatilizes in the environment, yes. But because we are not, we don't have that, IGRs are considered very safe, and they're an alternative to using a synthetic pesticide. Mm -hmm. Sorry, insect growth regulator. An insect growth regulator. Okay. Because we don't have the hormone. It doesn't affect us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the advantage of it. It only affects, the, and it only affects really the molting stage because this is a hormone mimic. It mimics the growth. There's another type of IGR which is a chitin synthesis inhibitor, which damages the chitin, the exoskeleton of the insect, so they can't. It produces a hormone that doesn't allow them to create chitin, yes. and they can't create a new exoskeleton. So when they go from one stage, they leave their body, try to create a new body, they can't. This is why it does it this way. It's just a, a, a more natural way of trying to control something than trying to put a chemical to kill it when you can't find it. But you need to use it good when the when the environment is closed. You can use it anywhere because it's going to spread no matter what. What they found with uh, Gentrol, which is is, is hydroprene, uh, these products just basically trap. So basically, the hormone is just going to spread naturally throughout the whole house, and you need to put it in a point source. And you put it in one place. I like putting it in the kitchen because here's where we have the majority, and it'll get concentrated. It usually within about a hundred square feet. And this is good for roaches and ants also. Or it, it, a lot, a lot of the IGRs will affect ants. Remember, if they have, it, it won't affect ticks because ticks are arachnids and they don't have juvenile hormone. So if the insect doesn't produce a juvenile hormone, it doesn't affect them. But if the insect does produce a juvenile hormone, then it affects it. And most of the insects that we have, like the beetles, the roaches, the ants, produce juvenile homo guys to, to, to be able to molt. So that's that's one of the advantages. That's one of the products we use. So far, we haven't uh, sprayed a single thing. So. We